Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for season 5 episode 2 of Elite. This time the title of the episode is Anything Goes, and I am excited to watch a new episode of Elite. Uh, I just finished watching like 10-20 minutes ago uh, the first episode, I was waiting for it to be ready so I can post it uh, on Patreon, and now it is posted, so I am here. Um, the the uh, premise of this season is that apparently someone is going to die, which is pretty much uh, the premise of every season of Elite. Uh, that th This is the show we're here for. Um, and someone is going to die in the pool, and it looks like it could be a, a student, but I'm not saying that it couldn't be Benjamin just wearing one of the uniforms. Maybe it's because I, just, I had enough of Benjamin, but... Who knows? Um, and then we also have uh, Samu confessing that he killed someone. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so I don't know what he's going to confess about. Is he going to confess to Armando's death or to the whoever it is in the pool's death? I don't know. We have a couple new characters as well. And yeah, we, we, we'll see how this season goes. Uh, I'm excited for a new episode. I'm really happy that I get to watch it. The first episode, I thought it was it was cool, you know, and I think that that um, uh, I don't want to say it's struggling, uh, but it, it definitely it, it. I don't know. I feel like uh, the show needs to put like it's not as edgy as it used to be. You know, and I'm not just talking about the fact that the kids, you know, all the young people here are extremely hot and, you know, some of them are very fluid with their sexuality. That's a given on this show and, like, I think it's a wonderful thing. But edgy in the in the things that, in, on the characters they put in danger, I mean, right? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, like, uh, on the original one... The first season you killed someone who was kind of like the main character on the for the entire season. And then Polo, you know, so it were they were really high stakes, you know, and I, I, I they haven't done that yet here with this new character. So we'll see. You do, do not touch my favorites, though. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys continue to support for more. Give it a thumbs up if you love Elite. If this is posted for some reason I'm on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction always posted first on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Uh, please continue supporting for more. And for now, I think that that will be all. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And for now, that's it. Let's just begin with Season 5, Episode 2 of Elite. Here we go. <laughs> caso. Le puedo el honor mierda ese que tiene. Samuel no le mató. Don't say it was you. Please, Rebe. ¿Por qué lo sabes? A fuck off. Porque sé que no lo hizo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así que lo sabes. ¿Mm? Yeah, and why do you know it? Pues tú dirás. ¿Quién lo hizo? If she says I did it, if she says I did it, <laughs> are they talking about Guzman? Who are they talking about? I mean, Armando and like what happened with Guzman? Yeah, no one is recognizing you with that cap. Reuniones de más de tres personas están prohibidas. Yeah, there are like a lot of people here. Que al actualizar la app del colegio se activa la geolocalización y no podemos desconectarla. Bueno, esa es una información que se está recogiendo por vuestra seguridad. What? Es que sabes lo que pasa, que no somos perros perdidos. No hace falta que nos encuentres, Benjamín. Exactamente. Y eso que vos sos un X que no te conoce nadie. Pero yo tengo empresas y medio de visa, Benjamín. ¿Qué querés, que me secuestren? La ubicación está encriptada. O sea que vas a saber en todo momento dónde estamos, ¿no, Benjamín? Nadie puede acceder a ella, salvo vuestras familias que están al tanto y sí pueden desactivar. ¿Ah, sí? Ah. Pues desactiva la mía. Si es por nuestra seguridad, yo lo entiendo. 
De todas maneras, tenéis cosas más importantes en las que pensar, como un Honestly? examen dentro de dos días para subir. Honestly, this, how is this, like, it's okay that you are, you know, the direct, what is it, principal of this school, but like, for you to know specifically where they are at all times, are you shitting me right now? That, that's, that's, that's part of their privacy. They are allowed to have that privacy. What? And I hate that Samus is still like defending this dude. Ten en cuenta que para él nunca van a ser suficientes. That's true. It's never enough for him. Hmm, hello. Igual ya la estás perdiendo. Oh shit. Oh. Mencia, please. Oh, hello. <laughs> isn't Patrick like the cutest? A ver, chicos. Isn't isn't he like the cutest? Like I don't want to bother anyone, but he's like, he's so cute. He's so pretty. He shouldn't be allowed to be this pretty. I don't know. I just I really enjoyed his short story. That I'm like obsessed with him at the moment because I feel like he's the cutest little bean in the planet. I just want to say that. Anyways, um, I was gonna say something else, but I completely forgot because he's so gorgeous. Anyways. Pero fuera mandamos nosotros. Claro que sí. Yes. Propongo fiestón, sin normas, sin reglas. Mira, de hecho, fuera vestimentas, así en general. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Cuidado que me quiensa una que se está viniendo arriba. ¿eh? <laughs> a ver, a ver, o sea, una fiesta en plan en bolas. De puta okay. madre, que viene que te cagas que estoy soltero y me hace falta un buen meneo. Puta, igual, uh. okay. no, 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 que no estás... Las tendencias sexuales se quedan en la puerta. Si no, no se entra. Ok, yes. Es negociable eso. Samu, soy... Oh, I, you know what I wanted to say. This is what I wanted to say. You do not touch Patrick. Under any circumstances, you touch Patrick or harm Patrick. I just want to say that I'm going to protect my child. Just want to say that. Mañana por la noche... Todo vale joder. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué qué? no me ha No ha habido ninguna chica que no sé, te haya gustado. What is all this? ¿Cómo ¿Cómo no? Tu patrón, el que ya se dio con la otra chica con el Odi y ahora con Cayetana. No sé, podríamos llamarle demasiado lanzado, quizá. Depredador. ¿Tú qué dirías que tienen en común? He doesn't know how to control himself. Eh, es, uh, no sé, es el hecho de, de que me hayas llamado depredador. Porque eso soy para ti, ¿verdad? Yes. Un depredador. No. O sea, no. Lo que quería decir es que cuando bebes, creo que Sabes que cuando no eres consciente de tus actos sí que nah. te puede salir eso, pero no siempre. Look, look, I drink, everyone else drinks, not because you drink, you know, that's the answer for being inappropriate, for committing a crime. You can be all the drunk you want, you still, if you hear someone say no, no is no. Okay, so, 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 you know, I, I don't know. I think they're trying to victimize him, and I am not buying it. Venga, chicos, va. They look like the Avengers. There we go. De aquí a las Olimpiadas, o qué? Anda con él, pero si tú hablas, yo pensaba que te habías quedado muda. Blanca. Como ni contesta, ni escribe mensajes. Este ya te pega más. ¿Me pega más de qué? Nada, déjalo. Oh, come on. No, mira, mejor quédate así, porque con los 20 audios que me mandaste ayer en una hora, creo que ya tengo suficiente. ¿O no? Are you calling her intense? <risa> así que guárdate bien esos mensajes. Porque cuando te arrepientas y me llames, te vas a encontrar un número bloqueado. Oh, el único shit. sitio que vas a poder escuchar mi voz es en esos 20 audios. Oh! Chicas, va! Let them, let them! Let They're them. having an intense moment right now! Muy. Shit! Oh, stop with the whistle! 
Oh, that was kind of like sad. But like, also Rebecca should have her limits as well, so I kind of understand that, but it also doesn't make me feel good. Because I want them together. What do you think? What do you think the sexy music is for? <laughs> Why? You didn't have a problem Oh my god, what? He's gonna notice that they are together? <sighs> Social distancing, please! Oh, how annoying are you? They're supposed to have privacy, you know? This is so annoying. No, 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 le tapes la boca. Que lo mismo mi hija tiene algo que decir. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you, Benjamin? Look, I don't think this is that bad. No vas ni a molestarte en dar una explicación. Pero qué te ha pasado? ¿En qué tipo de fulana te has convertido de un día al otro? Why? That's that's her boyfriend. Uh, see, see what I told you before that he always like instead of listening, instead of like being there for for his kids, he puts them challenges that are more difficult to accomplish each and every time. Just like Patrick said, it's never going to be enough for him. Porque desde que estás con ella, Ari está desbocada. Incontrolable. Es que un día estás incontrolable. Aquí ya incontrolable. The poor girl has been in her house, locked up. She drinks one night. Ha that happens because of an asshole, you know. And now she is. I I just I just don't I don't. I want to choke Benjamin. Tan That's what I want. La cabeza. Vete a clase. How stupid this is. Yo sigo teniendo esperanzas puestas en ti, Samuel. Yeah, sure you do. Voy a conseguir el efecto contrario, se va a revelar aún más. Pero si la controlas tú, no se va a dejar. Es ella la que lleva las riendas. If you control or you're talking about your daughter, not a horse. What it what? Are you is he stupid? Benjamin. Hazle creer que sigue siendo así. Are you you you're so stupid. Pero no me decepciones. Perdona. Solo busco comida. Por favor. Who is he? Y igual yo te puedo ayudar con eso. Oh, that's Abre good. Los platos y pasa la fregona, ¿no? Bueno, ya basta, ¿no? Eh, tan solo. Sí es. Es la persona que te deja solo en el momento que más lo necesitas, Philip. No, no me ha dejado solo. Me lo ha dejado claro. Este también es su camino y, y bueno, lo quiero hacer a mi lado. Uh -huh. A tu lado. No con vos. What? I hate I hate that this girl is just messing with everyone, but I don't care about him, but I hate that she's messing with Cayetana. That's what I hate. Que son cuatro mierdas, un poco de pasta, pan, pero bueno, algo es algo. It's just that he needs money. Que te pires, tío. Who is, who, someone is threatening him? Gangster? What the hell? I mean, it's so sweet that you wanted bueno, to help. A pasar. Así que das una fiesta y no me invitas. Es que no te pega. ¿Por? Pues porque esta fiesta va de ser libres. De mezclarnos, besarnos, drogarnos, frotarnos. Mm -hmm. Va de experimentar. Sin miedos, sin prejuicios, sin normas. Solo para valientes. Entonces voy. Pues igual tienes que probar alguna cosita. Pues las pruebo. Así. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Te tiemblan las piernas. <laughs> De los nervios por verte acobardarte. Ooh. Ooh. Nos vemos esta noche. Ooh. <laughs> I think he likes him. I think he likes him. 
but like really, really likes him and the whole, oh, I'm straight thing. Honey, honey. Philip, esto lo tienes que hacer por ti. I am this close to reach through my screen and bitch slap Philippe, Philippe, whatever the name of this guy is. I'm this close. I'm this, this, this close. Because, like, she is, like, doesn't he understand that she doesn't even have to be there? That she's been the most understanding person in the world right now? That if I was her, I will be with the other girl, Elodie, whatever her name was. Elodie, I think. Or Elodie, or something like that. Supporting her and telling my story as well. Right? But no, she's sitting right there with you trying to get you the help that you need. And you're like, oh yeah, but you don't want to be with me. Fuck no! Like, just be grateful that she is even there. This is just... Eso es todo lo que tenía que escuchar. Muchas so, gracias, Greta. So, I don't need... I uh, really gracias don't need to change. Since you're not coming back to, together, we're not coming back together. I was doing it for that sole reason, because I'm very narcissistic. Then, that's it. I'm stop trying, because what's the point? You know? Haces. Me decía que quieres. Quiero... Quiero volver a intentarlo. Oh. Lo siento. No pensé en ningún momento en lo que estaba haciendo ni en las consecuencias de nada y que que te echo de menos. Oh, I miss you guys too. No me echas de menos. Si de verdad te importo, ven. Es lo único que te pido. Ven. Oh. Why it has to be so complicated? I don't think she wants to go to the party, right? I don't really think that she wants to do the whole party thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she stayed. The fuck you want? Why? They're not school. So you can spy on them even if they're not at school? ¿Dónde has dejado tus prejuicios? En el ropero. ¿Y tu heterosexualidad inquebrantable? <laughs> en la calle, en la calle. Ok, good. A ver si te la van a robar. Hemos <laughs> ha apretado. Uh. Sígueme. Knowing that Patrick is like... I know that anything goes, but like... You guys are kissing the wrong people. I don't like this. <laughs> okay. I mean, she was trying to figure out if she was still into dudes. Turns out she's not. Good for her. Good for her. No, Omar, que me prometió que iba a dejar de beber. No, es que no es eso. O sea, el que no se quiere una mierda es él. Yeah, but you're not his guardian angel or anything like that, you know? Oh my god, so they all decided to... This is so fucking wrong. It's just, I feel like he's playing a game, you know, with Patrick. And like, it's not like he hasn't said that he's straight and we should accept everyone's sexuality. <laughs> but the thing is that he keeps flirting with him, you know, and that confuses him, but... We all should know, yeah. When a, when a person tells you, oh, they strain and like that's all they want, like. But like, haven't we all been there, falling for a straight person? We have all been there. No tires por la borda lo que has empezado, vale. Querer. You are not his his babysitter. I hate this relationship. It's so toxic, and especially because Cayetan is the one who's losing the most here. Eh. Ay, Mencía. Qué bien que estés aquí, cariño. Te lo vas a pasar tan bien. Ari, nos tenemos que ir a casa. ¿Mm? ¿Qué? Que papá me ha dicho que te lleven. Que nos tenemos que... No, no, no. Yo me voy a quedar. Ari, ¿Y tú que nos tenemos que ir a casa. Te estoy diciendo. Que, que no. Oh, shit. I love that Ari was like, no, I'm not going. <laughs> Who's that? 
Oh, that's not mine, and that is the... If you hurt him, though, I'm gonna be extremely pissed at you. Oh, no. Mira, si fueras de fiar, nadie te amenazaría, ¿vale? Hey, you were in a really crappy situation before. Y no sé a dónde ir. You were in a crappy situation as well before. No, he's not. La mitad de lo que vos estás haciendo por ella. Oh fuck up. Yo no lo dejaría ir nunca. I fucking love that this season they have said social distancing and is. Like the two episodes that we have watched, they couldn't be any more together and like just like you know. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Lo hizo? Samuel no. Okay. Está protegiendo a alguien. Probably. What is tu? La que está protegiendo a Samuel. Are, Rebecca, are you gonna say something? ¿sabes? Why did it look like he was on a beach or something? <sighs> okay, this was a, a good episode. I think I liked it a little bit more than the, the premiere. Okay, guys, so that was the end. That was the end of season... Five, episode two of of Elite. I really enjoyed this episode. I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than I did the first episode. Uh, not saying that the first episode was a bad one, but I I, I like this one a little bit more. Uh, I think that I mean there are certain things that they are doing that I'm not necessarily like I I don't like it. It's just that I don't see a point to it. Uh, because for me, the whole Philippe situation and Cayetana, I think they're doing it in a wrong way. And it could send a, a, a bad message, you know, because there's always this this thought that we, that we as a society have that uh, if you have a, like, if your boyfriend, whoever you're with, they are kind of like, bad that that a good woman would will fix them you know and i don't think it's anyone's responsibility to fix anyone on a relationship whether if it's the guy trying to fix the girl or the girl trying to fix the guy it's honestly it's, it shouldn't be like that you are supposed to be there for the person you love and the person you care and you're supposed to be there you're supposed to yes you know support them through the things they're going through but it's not your job to babysit them or, you know, um, fix them in whatever way. You know, you're not supposed to see in them something that they don't quite see on themselves that is a toxic trait. Okay, because Calle is like, oh no, you're very good when you're not drunk. It's just that when you're drunk, you, you have this personality, you know. And honestly, it's just that maybe without alcohol... He controls it a bit more, and without it, he just lets let it go, you know? And the thing here is that I don't like how they're doing that. Because at the end of the day, it feels like, oh, this is all Cayetana's fault. And it's not. I mean, hopefully they're trying to show us that no one can fix anyone, you know? Do people deserve second chances? Yes, but... Um, in the turn in the sense of fixing that person it only comes down to whether if that person wants to change whether if that person actually believed that they did something wrong and the thing with philippe that most people will not will not be able to relate is the uh, at least most of us i think is the fact that since he's a prince you know he has this um this freedom, which is not freedom, it's just like uh, he's allowed to be more of an ass than any regular person. If this was Samu, I think that we will have all canceled Samu and in the school 
everyone will have like voted against him being part of the school. But since he's a prince, then no one is complaining. Like teachers, like not even like the parents are complaining. They're all like, he probably didn't do it. It's just like, It's the price of being rich and fame and like, you know, famous and things like that. You know, that's how they are taking it. Whether if they're, you know, just pretending that they don't believe it or actually don't believe it. Because rich people sometimes have the privilege of buying justice. You know what I mean? So I think that that is something that is concerning, you know. Um, and it's something that, like I said, not, not a lot of people will relate because we don't all have that privilege of having shit that we do be brushed away, you know? And, and that is exactly what they are doing with, with Philippe. And Philippe is not doing anything good. Like, Philippe is like, okay, so I, he went to the therapy thinking that because of the therapy, Cayetana will want to go, go back to him. Because he doesn't take no for an answer. And as a narcissistic, he hates the fact that Gayetana has sees him for his true colors. He hates that. He hates that everybody has seen him for who he truly is. And he will rather hide. So he's having a rough time right now because everyone can see who he truly is. You know, and he has the one person who is encouraging all of these bad things. And you will say, oh, this is a bad influence. But it's exactly what I'm talking about. That uh, as a society, sometimes we push, especially women, to fix the guy, you know, to support him, to build him up. And that is exactly b what both Cayetana is doing and what this other chick, uh, Isadora, I think is her name, is doing as well. Because she is like, you haven't done anything wrong. You are good. You are amazing. You are prince. Like... She it, she doesn't deserve you. She's not worthy of you. When it's the other way around, you know? He's a disgusting person who right now has not tried to change. He only wants to change because Cayetana was, like, pushing him towards that. You know? And it's not, it's not gonna happen. It's not a true change, you know? So we'll see what happens with that whole storyline hopefully they are doing it just to prove to us how wrong it is to put this pressure especially on women to fix the guy that they, the guy that they are with that there's nothing that they can do that they cannot fix and you don't go into a relationship trying to fix anyone that is wrong and i hate that they they are doing that with technically with both Cayetana and the other girl So, yeah. Um, but Philippe has not learned his lesson. He doesn't have... Like, like, the thing is that for you to learn your lesson, or for you to try to grow and try to be better, you actually have to understand what you did wrong. I don't think he believes that he did anything wrong. That's the thing, you know? And we have a victim accusing him of rape, you know? And he's like... oh. Cayetana doesn't want to be with me. So I'm very upset. And I'm like, fuck off, dude. Like, you know, Ugh, it upsets me so much. Um, but anyway, then we have Patrick who, you know, whatever his dad will say, he will do the act, the ex exactly the opposite of what the dad wants. So the dad wants social distancing. The dad wants... Uh, discipline and the dad wants control so he's gonna take all of that away from him at any cost because let's be real whatever task and whatever bar the dad has set for them it's very shitty you know and it's setting them all up for failure You know, and it, time and time again, if it's not Adi, it's Mencia, if not, you know, and it comes back and forth of what kid wants to achieve this point where if they do, then the dad will love them, you know, and it's terrible. It's terrible, terrible what he does. And that's why I'm leaning into like, okay, maybe it can be him, the one who dies, 
you know, hopefully. You, you know, because he's a terrible person. And now he, he's a fucking creep. Like, he his necessity for control has gotten to the point where he needs to know where every single person is, especially his kids, where every single one of them are at all times. Because he has a geolocation thing, you know, that allows him to know where all of them are. Not only when they are at school, but apparently when they are out as well. Because why would you want to do that? And how is that not breaking any rules for privacy? Like, fuck off. Like, I will, like, I don't even understand it that is in school, you know? Um, but, like, outside school is just, it's so fucked up. I, I find it extremely dangerous what he's doing, you know? Um, but whatever. Um, no, whatever. I'm glad that they rebe rebelled against it, but still, it's, it's, it's BS. Um, anyways, then Adi is still trying to, like, like, you know, she's, like, in this mindset of you only live once, and the fact that she was about to die kind of proved her that exactly you only live once and she wants to live her best life. And she's tired of trying to measure up to whatever standard her dad has for her. So she is getting wild. And Samu is in the other opposite end where he's like, oh, this guy believes in me. And he doesn't realize that he's manipulating him only to have control of his daughter once again. And it's so fucked up that he doesn't see that. But it's just, you know, he's being manipulated. He's still... With everything that has happened, whatever. But he's still, you know, very young. And he's being put in this position where where the principal is putting all your his hopes and dreams in you. And, like, you know, you want to measure up. And, and he's being manipulated by him in the process. Um, but, yeah. Uh, like I said, Patrick. I love Patrick. I am a little bit afraid that something might happen to Patrick. But if you touch my child, I will... I will honestly flip, okay? Because I have adopted him, and, like, nothing bad can happen to him ever, okay? So, he did all this party, mostly because, you know, he wanted to rebel against his dad, but also because he has a crush on Ivan, and Ivan is like, I am 100% straight, man, and, like, he's just playing games with Patrick, and I feel like what Patrick needs the most and what he's looking for is that connection to someone, you know, that connection, uh, a real connection, not for him to be seen just as a as a cute guy and like a, a, a good hookup, you know. I think that he really wants that connection, but he's looking at and trying to achieve that in the wrong way, you know. And honestly, it's just a result of how his dad treats him, you know. He doesn't know how to look for a healthy relationship. Uh, either, you know, and the thing is that he is kind of like having a crush on the straight boy, um, which, let's be real, th there's nothing straight about Ivan, okay, he made out with Samu, and like, you can say, hey, you can be fluid, whatever, I kind of, I understand that, I wasn't expecting for him to, like, kiss Samu, I was like, what is happening here, uh, but, uh, the thing is, with, with that is it, he's playing that game with, with with Patrick of like, oh yeah, well, I can play with my sexuality. I won't play with you, but I will play. I will, you know, I will I will uh, experiment. Not with you, but with everyone else, you know, which is kind of like, it kind of sucks. I didn't like the fact that he was kissing Rebecca. I was like, what, Rebecca, what are you doing? You know, I was like into the fact that she was kissing another girl because like, Mencia didn't even show up. She showed up at the end. Um... I understand Mencia not wanting to be part of, like, the parties and all of that. Kind of understand that. But I also understand Rebecca saying, you know what? Actually, this time I need you to come for me. You know, I mean, not pun intended, but, like, to look for me instead of me going after you all the time. Um, so I understand that. Uh, and she didn't show up and she's single, so... Um, but yeah, I did like the fact that she was kissing with an another girl later, you know, but did not like the fact that she was kissing Ivan, though. <laughs> but I love the, I do love that it was kind of like a glee moment when Rachel kissed, um, Blaine and Blaine was like, 
I am absolutely gay. Thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> and like in this moment, that was Ivan for Rebecca. She was like, yeah, it turns out I'm very much, a, <laughs> I'm 100% a lesbian. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> love that. I love that. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, Mencia and Rebe seem to be having a, uh, 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 I mean, I am here for the drama. It's not like I want them together ASAP, but I want them together ASAP as well. So you do you, you know? Uh, anyways, there's other things happening as well because there is this kid who is who was trying to steal from Omar's uh, restaurant. Well, it's not his restaurant, but where he works and he's asking for help. And I'm going to guess that he's going to help because this is Omar. And Omar will help anyone that will, you know, ask him because that's just who he is. So he's going to do that. And I'm afraid because I don't want anything bad happening to Omar. But then there is a thing that, you know, uh, Samuel confessed on the previous episode that he killed him. So we know that a, a dude, you know, it's going to die. Who? We don't know. It looked like it was someone in the pool, but that person could very much as well, like, just hit his head and, like, we can rescue him and that doesn't mean that he's dead. But whoever Samuel was dragging and it was like, it seemed like it was a beach or some kind, you know? But who's he protecting? Hopefully it's Benjamin. I really hope that's Benjamin and he dies. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Okay, uh, so I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. This episode left me very, very much intrigued about what's going to happen in the rest of the season. I absolutely loved it. Um, and I think it was, it was, I dare to say, a little bit better than the season premiere. I don't know. There are shows, and Elite is one of those shows, that need to be binge. You know, you don't need to take one episode at a time. Because if you take one episode at a time, you're kind of like, Okay, this episode didn't really do much, but in reality, the previous episode really set up this this one in terms of what is the mystery of the season. So I might need to just bench this next six episodes and just, you know, post them because I am intrigued about what's going to happen next. Very much so. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. I probably am forgetting to talk about something or someone. Um... But if you guys like, we can continue the conversation on the comment section down below. So please make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka reaction always posted first on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for Elite. So, yes. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for early support. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Elite. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.